What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't been posting. I got extremely ill about a week after I posted the last video, so that knocked me for a good two, three weeks, but I'm all good now. Wasn't COVID, had a test, come back negative, so no biggie. I got this box off Karina for my birthday, which was in November. I haven't opened it yet because I've been wanting to do an unboxing video, so that's what we're going to do today. So yeah, I'm going to be unboxing this hockey box here. Pretty sure there's a deck in here and a hoodie or a shirt, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, lucky I have my trusty blade here. It's a bronze, it's a bronze uh, box cutter. I'm going to try to dissect this thing as, as uh, easy as possible. Oops. I hope, they, I hope they put in free stickers. I love free stickers. Um, what do we have here? We have some packaging, cardboard, paper stuff. Get rid of that. All right. What do we have in here? Have a receipt. And then, what do we have here? We have a hoodie. Let's have a look at this. Oh no, it's a crew neck sweater, I should say, not a hoodie. I needed more crew necks as well. Check that out guys, isn't that sick? Isn't that a sick graphic crew neck sweater? <laughs> what size is this? Extra large? Just my size. I wear extra large because of my height. Believe it or not, I'm pretty tall. I don't know if you guys can tell on YouTube, but yeah. That's sick. I'm gonna probably wear this tomorrow. Thank you. What else is in here? There is free stickers in here. I can see at the bottom. Bam! It is the Nick Stain Pro Model. I believe this means hockey in Russian. I don't know how to pronounce that, but if, if you're Russian and you're watching this video, you can confirm that this says hockey in Russian, I'm pretty sure. Pretty dope graphic. Um, it's an 8.5. That's a top sheet there. I like this. Usually this is at the bottom, because then you can put the grip tape slit and you can have the, the graphic, but they've put it like towards the top. So if I were to do the grip tape slip, I might get a bit confused because I might think this is a tail, but I might still do it, I don't know. There's a sticker in there. Um, there's some other stickers in this box here. There's a few actually. Uh, yeah, sick. So they've chucked in a handful of these hockey stickers, black and white. Just looking at this graphic now, it's a man sitting on a boat, and I think that's a hockey stick. Or it could be a, a boat, um, what do you row the boat with? The thingo? Row, row, row your boat with the hockey stick? <laughs> I don't know, I think it is a hockey stick. But yeah, sick graphic. I really like this blue. Really cool colorway. I had a bit of a hissy fit the other day because I tried to go skating after not skating for like three weeks and it wasn't working, so I kind of focused my board. I haven't focused a board in probably like a good two, three years now. The last board that I focused was a Baker, so I haven't skated Baker in like a good, yeah, like I said, two, three years. So I'm gonna pull the trucks off my old deck and then set up this new board. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this footage.
kind of feel a bit guilty snapping or focusing that other board because it still had a bit of life in it but um you know these things happen when we skate it's all part of the game all part of the process when i was probably like um 11 years old we had this family friend francis um he was my friend and he had this setup from a skate shop that was like a pretty good complete and he, he him and his family went overseas and it was up to my parents to go around to the house to like check on the animals and stuff and make sure everything was okay and they were gone for like a month and we went there to check on the house and his board was there so i convinced my mom to let me borrow it <laughs> and i skated that board for like a month <clears throat> and it was like so much better than my own board so shouts out to you francis <laughs> for uh, lending me your board back then but yeah, I remember this board being like, it was like a shop board. I can't remember the name of the shop. Oh, Snow Skate and Surf when it was still there in Campbelltown. It makes so much more of a difference when you have like quality components that you're skating with as opposed to like skating with like a uh, kind of intermediate entry level board. Once you start stepping up and like skating better things, it makes skating so much more enjoyable. But yeah, that's my little rant about skateboarding uh components and things and parts and stuff but then again i know dudes that all they skate is like thrash decks and they shred so i guess it's personal preference All right guys, there it is. Hockey Nick Stain Pro Model. Laced up with some standard 159 independence, some 54 millimeter 101 Formula 4's full conical shape, I believe, yeah. And some um, Milton Martinez Bronson G3's are a bit dirty though. Grip tape didn't come out too bad considering I suck at gripping boards, but yeah, pretty keen to skate this thing. Hope you guys had a happy new year and a Merry Christmas. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on, on Instagram at Enochism. But yeah, thank you for watching the video guys and I'll catch you all in the next one.